Sexy looking snake. Uh, this snake is about the same size as him. Murphy! Murphy, too! Murphy, wait! Beautiful female temples viper. She's just. Oh my gosh. I've made it to Hong Kong, China, and I'm with my good friend Alex Duff Does Nature Stuff, and we're gonna go look for wildlife with Chris Sweet. Join us on this epic adventure. What is that? <laughs> There's no way. What are you, a baby? <laughs> I'm trying to focus. All right, the boys and I are off to Natawat to look for tigers, snakes, and elephants. What'd you say? Nothing. Guys, look at this. We're driving to the spot to go stay, and there's a mahout with this elephant going down the road. Welcome to Thailand. Hello. What do you think, Alex? You want to take that instead of a car? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? We got some puppies playing outside the bungalow. What are you guys doing? <laughs> guys, we got the first snake of the night. Check it out. It's a beautiful black-headed cat snake. We actually saw one of these guys on the last trip eating an agama. This is actually a rear fang cat snake. So they have these big beautiful eyes, a set of rear fangs to take out their prey. They'll eat like little lizards and frogs. And this one's beautiful. Even though it's called a black headed cat snake, they got this gorgeous reddish orange coloration and beautiful eyes. They remind me a lot of the snakes, the slender snakes in Central America. They get a little bit bigger than this. We're hoping to find red-headed crates. Any other venomous snakes or vipers that are out here. Look at him, he's just going out for a hunt. The sun just set about an hour ago. And he's just doing his thing. Look how beautiful. Look at these eyes. That is a sexy looking snake. You're not gonna bite me, are you? Nice and chill. Beautiful rear fang venomous snake right here in Asia. There are so many different species of cat snake. Hopefully we can find a couple other ones. Let's go see what else we can find. Guys, we got a little baby angle-headed lizard. This guy's gonna get huge. He's just having a little nap. Trying not to think about this guy with the mustache in the background. Yeah, I'll do exactly what you think I will, buddy. And then some. Guys, check this out. Beautiful centipede just hanging out in the trees on the branches that are slapping our shoulders as we walk by. Brother. <laughs> toxic tip centipede. Oh, it's got a toxic tip. Okay. That was my nickname in high school. Guys, Alex just came in with the wind, just spotted this long-legged toad amongst the leaves. This is one of the rarest toads in Thailand. Now just tastes delicious. I think they have toxins. Oh yeah, toads do have toxins. Guys, look at this. We have giant carpenter ants. This is the world's biggest species of ant. Look how big it is next to my hand. Oh, oh, did he get you? oh he, oh, I, he almost bit me. It's next to my hand. Oh, hey. They're so angry now. Friends, come on, I just want to be your friend. Oh, wow, Holy. that's big. It's not even adult size yet. Oh my god, look how big. You said it's a huntsman or a wolf spider? spider? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a lichen huntsman spider. Look how big that, oh my <laughs> goodness, what? That is a big spider. Look at that guy. Woo! Ooh, look how beautiful it is out here. It's another gorgeous morning here at the edge of Thailand, at the border of Malaysia. We just found ourselves a beautiful female temples viper, also known as the Waggler's Pit Viper. Look at this snake. She is a gorgeous little female. And these guys are actually sexually dimorphic, so you can tell whether they're boy or girl just by looking at them. The females are bigger than the males, 
and the males stay small and green like this while the females become beautiful, gorgeous looking snakes. I'm gonna use this little stick right here to try and redirect her a little bit so you can see those heat seeking pits because this is a pit viper. She can see the thermal image of a bird or maybe a rodent going by. But uh, these guys are primarily gonna be eating things like frogs, small birds, lizards. Look at that beautiful snake. These guys get like around two feet long and they're completely arboreal, living up in the trees, using their tails to anchor onto branches so they can hunt. And she's just, oh! Oh my gosh. Chris just came in with another one, look at this. Dude, color change. Bro, is that a female? Yeah, it's a slightly two bigger females? female. Look at the black wild. color one. Hold on, let's yeah. take a look at this one real quick. She's like starting to go through color change, getting random black pigments. Dude, that's wild. We got two wagglers, Viper Chris. Oh, that's awesome. We got Chris Sweet out here, the king of the herps in Thailand. Look at that. Two beautiful wagglers, pit vipers. Now, when it comes to their venom, uh, it's not deadly unless you're allergic. Because if you're allergic, you can go into anaphylaxis and swell up. But for the most part, if you were to get bit by this species specifically, uh, it's not going to kill you. It's just going to make you swell up. We actually have a few friends that have been nipped and they just waited out and they seem to be pretty good. Uh, these guys aren't eating things like, you know, big mammals, so their venom doesn't really affect us because we're so big or a different species to what they're usually eating. Their venom is specialized for their prey. Ooh, I don't really want to test the venom out, but I know that it's not a big deal if you do get a nab. Look at that. Beautiful Wagner's Pit Viper. And you guys are probably watching this and thinking like, he didn't learn his lesson, he didn't learn. Well, it's hard to not do what I love, which is working close with wildlife like this. Look at this big female. I like how blue the one is right here. Yeah. Like, that's, that's just amazing. That baby. Two Wagglers Pit Vipers right here at a temple. Temple Vipers in the temple. This is amazing. Let's go see what else we can find today. What the hell? Oh, that's wild! Look at that ass. Keep straight. Oh. Watch out. Oh. Look at this, guys. We just got an Indo Chinese rat snake that's all over the place right now. Hey, you smell Ow! Ow, let go! <laughs> ow, ow! Wait, what are you. Actually, he looks kind of like a cobra. Uh, these guys get huge. They actually get like eight, 10 feet long. They're actually one of the biggest rat snakes in the world and king cobras love to eat them. So if they're moving, the king cobras are gonna be moving too. I just don't want to get bit in the lip or anything. Let's get them across the road real quick. Release them over here. And uh, the king cobras are moving all over the place. The bungalow we're just at, we just found out there's a king cobra there a day before we got there. So king cobras are moving. There's lots of call outs in this area. Hopefully we can get a king. Guys, look at this. We, the snakes are finally moving and we've got a little baby mangrove snake. Check that out. Uh, this one's probably like, what? Like two months old or something? Yeah. Really young one. And these guys are rear fang venomous snakes. This is one of the most iconic snakes in the world. The mangrove cat snake. When they get bigger, they got these beautiful yellow stripes going down the sides and a black body. And uh, they are a rear fang venomous snake. If you guys remember, I actually got bit in the nose the last time I was in Thailand by one a little bit bigger than this. And uh, it felt great. Um, but these guys are beautiful snakes. They can't kill you unless you're allergic to their venom. You can react from anaphylaxis if you're allergic to venom, if you can get bit. So you could die from that. But for the most part, if uh, they chew on you with their rear fangs, they'll make you nauseous and puke and whatnot. Uh, but they won't really kill you. They're beautiful, beautiful nocturnal snakes. During the day, these guys are sleeping up in the trees, and then at night, they're cruising around looking for birds and frogs to eat, lizards, and they get like eight feet long. They get huge. Look how beautiful those yellow stripes are going along the body. He's just cruising around, trying to find some food, doing his thing. Let's go see if we can find some more snakes. See you later, friend. Deep on the spots. This way, they love it. So cool, yeah. Let's go! Awesome. Guys, look at this. Chris just came in for the win. Just caught a Hulk's gecko. This is a lifer for me. Look at that. And he was just telling me that the way you find these is if you listen closely in the jungle, it gets quiet. You can hear 
Hulk smash. Yeah. And if you guys are thinking this looks like a Tokei Gecko, it's actually a close cousin of the Tokei Gecko, and they get just as big. Uh, and some people think that they actually get bigger. This guy's like freaking 11 inches long, maybe a foot long. Feels so powerful. Like this is a crocodile of a gecko. Look at that. What a beast. Beautiful green eyes. You can really see the gamma energy in those eyes. That is such a badass lizard. And these guys will be eating all kinds of insects, other geckos. Probably even attack some small snakes. What a beast. Look at his cute little ears. Wow. You wanna go? Oh! Look how big he is. Where you going, dude? Beautiful kukri snake. Called a kukri because they have kukri like knife teeth. Really cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Very cool. Beautiful kukri snake. He's in strike mode. You want to boot him? Uh, show <laughs> us how his teeth work. No, I think you've seen enough. <laughs> He's coming right for us. <laughs> Guys, look how beautiful. Looks like a coral now, doesn't it? Wow, it's like pink. But oh, you said they call it purple? Yeah. <laughs> I really don't want to get bit by this snake. For non venomous snake, this is a terrible bite. Oh! Good spot, though. <sighs> Ray also saying no snakes. Because we've been having very poor luck lately. That's actually a rare species here. Yeah, it's super it rare. Like Actually, I think that we're the first ones to discover it in this area. Su oh, su super rare. Ooh. You got them? Yeah, but the claws, holy shit. Nice. Dude, that's a really pretty one. Hulk's gecko on the road. Look at those eyes. Look at that. Ooh. He's Ooh. got you. He's got you, mate. Dude, that's the prettiest one I've ever seen. Guys, check it out. We got the first snake of the third night of snake hunting. A Murphy's mud snake or a rice paddy snake. This is where they're found, a little rear fang venomous snake. And he looks a little bit derpy. He looks like a little Murphy with that derpy little face. Whoa, Murphy! Murphy, chill! Murphy, wait! Murphy, come back! Murphy, Murphy! Oh. All right, guys, we're getting back over to Bangkok. We didn't find any cobras, but we found the Waggler's Pit Vipers. That was the first lifers. And now we're gonna go see if maybe we can get some cobras in Bangkok, which would be pretty cool. I'll see you guys in Bangkok. Guys, look at this. We got a beautiful flying snake that was just sleeping in a tree. And uh, we're able to go get a beautiful snake that can actually jump out of a tree and fly on its ribs and actually glide to other trees to avoid getting eaten by predators. Look at that beautiful snake. Look at that. Oh, All right, we're going to let it go. And uh, we're going to go to Soy Boy Cowboy now. Guys, look at this. We have a pipe snake attacking a skull faced water snake right now. We just walked up on these guys. And these guys are primarily snake eaters. It looks like he's bitten off more than he can chew though. This snake is about the same size as him and probably longer than he is. So we're gonna see what happens with these guys, but he is still hanging in there and that pipe snake is just sneaking around trying to get some bites. He's wondering why he has a, a whole paparazzi, but he's going hard on it. He's like a, an American mud snake, but here in Thailand, these guys have like a false head with their tail and they flare it up. Beautiful snakes, but uh, he's looking to chow down on this guy. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they get it sorted out. But uh, we'll see what happens in the next couple moments. Maybe we'll see a pipe snake swallowing another snake. It's the end of the trip. 
We didn't find a king cobra. No. Nope. The bungalow, we stayed at, ate the king cobra. Yep. That showed up there before we got there, so that, that's a bitter end. But I, we got new tattoos. I got a new tattoo. We'll see you guys in the next one. Follow your dreams. Stay safe. And most of all, you. we love you. <laughs> Happy, love you long time. <laughs>